Good evening, Wrightsville. Donna Pinckney here with your Thursday evening devotion. So welcome to Advent. We're there, y'all. We're at the beginning of the Christian year. The season of Advent marks the beginning of the Christian year. And I think that's interesting. So, you know, Happy New Year. Other interesting fact I recently learned. St. Francis of Assisi is credited with creating the first nativity scene. In Italy in 1223, he created this beautiful scene in an attempt to place the emphasis of Christmas back on Christ and away from materialism. Isn't that interesting? I thought that was really interesting. Nativity sets came after that. And, and I think so many of us have a nativity set in our house um, that has some history to it, some memories associated with it, whether it was handed down to you or you bought it on a trip or perhaps you fell in love with it in the store and just had to have it. I don't know what your story is, but nativity sets often have a story. And so tonight we're going to hear from someone about their nativity set and um, learn a little bit about them. So ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Hope, I'll see you all next week. Good night. Hello everyone, I'm so glad you could be with us this evening. Um, I want to share some things with you uh, related to Christmas. I know we're all starting to get ready for Christmas. Um, you probably have a nativity set. If you don't, uh, that's one of the things many of us like to have in our homes. And um, I have several. Uh, I have one that my daughter gave me when she was just about grown. I have another that a friend gave me. I have one that was just like the one I had when I was growing up and I'll show those to you right now and then I want to show you another one but here's this this set of all of those as you can see uh, there are different ways of having nativity sets and they look each one of them looks a little bit different um, the one that was on the bottom right of that picture uh, was like the one I had when our, my family had when we were growing up. And um, it is um, not fragile. <laughs> uh, we were able to pick those pieces up as children and look at them and, and uh, tell the story ourselves. And I encourage you to do that. If you have young children around, either uh, your own children or grandchildren, that you um, have a nativity set that they can actually get their hands on and move around and, and put in places so that they can learn to tell the story. And it just becomes a part of who they are. And so speaking of telling the story, I have one more I want to share with you first. And I'm going to See if I can just hold up at least Mary and, and baby Jesus and, and uh, let you see them. I think it's rather exquisite. Uh, Mary, you can see um, her and baby Jesus. Whoops, see if I can get them in the same picture here. Um, and just, they're, they're just exquisite um, pieces that I really love that someone gave me at another church. Um, so speaking of the story and learning to tell the story, in our Bibles, we have um, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, our Gospels, and each one of them has a different way of introducing Jesus to the world. The most um, common one that we read at Christmas time is from Luke chapter 2, and it, it pretty much tells the story, but if you go to Matthew and you read that part, it talks about Emmanuel, God with us in chapter 1, and that Jesus was coming, but it, it's told through the dream that Joseph had and the angel coming to Mary. We don't hear all of the story in Matthew. We hear about the Magi coming, the wise men, and in uh, Mark and John, we don't hear the story that way at all. In John, it's the, it's the uh, idea of the light coming to the world. So read the first chapter or two of each of the gospel lessons between now and Christmas so that you hear it and you see it through each of their eyes. And um, let that just sort of resonate with you. 
So as we move towards Christmas, we need to have the roots of our faith and the, the roots of the story of Jesus coming to this world, bringing us hope and love, peace and joy, and let that become a part of who we are too. God bless you. Let's have a prayer together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for Jesus coming. We thank you for the ways that you speak to us in these days of Advent. Prepare our hearts and our minds so that we will indeed, Lord, know that Jesus came, is present, and continues to work in our lives. We pray in his name. Amen. Have a good evening.